Okay, we're testing out the Dato Boss 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And you can see we got four watt cable, ground cable, and we got a two AWG short cable which comes from the circuit breaker, 150 amp circuit breaker by Busman. And then from there, the cable is a four art four slash zero all the way to the battery okay so these are 2400 watt hour golf cart batteries 210 amps each six volts each deep cycles okay from costco so we got this thing we want to turn this on we want to power up the back the capacitors inside the inverter okay and now we turn on the switch. Okay, now we got battery voltage going all the way to the back input. Let's turn this on. So we got 13 volts about. Okay, it's 13 volts about. 113 volt AC, no load. Everything's turned off. Now our idle power is minus 6.3 that's how much power the battery uses up just to t keep the inverter running with no load okay so this is in the back 12.5 here's the sine wave 60 Hertz at about 113 on this display but on the inverter display is 113 that's oh, about the same 113 volt AC 113 volts okay 60 Hertz so what we have the 700 watt hair dryer you can see boop. and we're just gonna go to the mid load because this cannot our inverter is only a thousand watts so we're gonna put about 700 watts on it so let's find out get the voltage here we go so that's about 450 watts, 12.2 volts, uh, what is that, 6, 455 watts, 11.9, .9. okay, so that's how much everything drops by. So right now, the battery is producing 500 watts in order for 455 to go into this load. So that's the that's the efficiency is the 455 divided by 500. That ratio is the efficiency. And with low, that's what our sine wave looks like. It's about 99 on here, and it's about what is it on here? 99 volt AC, so not too good. So let's turn this off. Okay, 4.1, turn it off. That bounces back up to 115. This goes back up to 115. Okay. So 115, we'll turn this on again. This guy here to the midpoint, and you'll see voltage is too low at only half the power 450 and the sine wave kind of breaks up a little bit you see it breaking up a little bit rough and let's see what happens when we turn on the heater which is an extra 200 watts okay let's see boom see the the voltage dropped on the 93 volt ac no good and the 12 volts in the back of the um, the battery voltage going into the back of the inverter versus the inverter showing 11.8 volts 11 point so 0.2 volt drop so this this guy can't handle can't handle the load 540 watts with 92 volt ac not good so that's this 200 watt heater and this 400 and something hair dryer and you can see the amps 
it's about 51 amps, 602 watts coming from the battery, 550 going into the two nodes, which is this hair dryer and that, which makes out 550. This should be about uh, uh, about 900 watts. These two, if this inverter was working properly, should be able to drive 900 watts into it, but it can't. It's dropped too much. It's not very warm at all, which is good. And sine wave not too good. Okay, so we'll turn off the heater and you'll see the current will drop from 51 down to 42. So 500 watts. And that's coming from the battery. And after the loss through the inverter, we get 456 watts going into the hand dryer. This should be 700 watts. Okay. And this means this inverter cannot handle the power. So it looks like it's a same back. Let me see what happens. Turn it off. One last time. The fan came on. The fan on the 115 volt AC. Now let's turn this on. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah, it drops AC output drop all the way down to let's see if we have a loose connection. So here's the same battery, same setup, the same hair dryer going into my modified sine wave 1200 watt modified power jack 1200 with 2400 peak power. Okay, and you can see everything's still the same in the back. 150 amp breaker, same things inside the, the battery pack. Same 1200, I mean 2400 watt hour battery, golf cart batteries. Everything's exactly the same. So, so now we got 10 watts idle all right, we got the fan running with a uh, two watts. Actually, it's not five watts. Just this this thing is rated at five watts, but the fan is a two watt fan for the inverter. Okay, right now the inverter has only a 1.6 watt load, which is this this uh, fan. Now I got this hair dryer. Remember, with the Dato 1000, we only got about 450 watts on the low setting. So let's find out what happens here. Turn this on. We got 703 watts from the battery and 625 watts going into the hairdryer. Way more than the Dato Boss 1000 watt inverter. So no problem. And of course, the efficiency is six twenty two watts divided by six eighty five. That's the efficiency. Okay. Anyway, if I turn this up higher, it will probably trip this thing because the inverter cannot go up too, too high. So let's see. Okay, turn it off. Turn this off. See, the hairdryer is rated for over 1500 watts, but the inverter, the hairdryer can go up to 1500, but the inverter is only limited to 1200. So, turn it back on. Let's see if it starts up again. So that's idle, idle wattage. That's what the inverter needs. And let's see, turn it on, mid speed. 625 divided by 689. Okay, we're done. And the voltage is about 12 volts DC. Going into, into the back of the inverter. All right, we're done.